Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel here. Every once in a while, people ask me, how do you piss off a dirt bike rider? <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how to do it. Stick around. If you want to piss off a whole bunch of dirt bikers at the same time, I've got the perfect way for you to do it. Everyone's wondering how to do this. So let me explain how you do it. Guys, make sure to tune in July 1st of this year for some awesome information about this pretty sweet bike here. It's the 2017 Sherco 300 SER. Tune in July 1st. You go down to Amazon or your favorite store and you buy yourself a commercial shipping scale with a digital readout. <clears throat> then what you do is you take a dirt bike and you use the scientific method and you put that dirt bike up on a scale and then you tell the weight of that dirt bike. And oh my goodness, you are going to get some hate and some vitriol like you've never seen. There are gonna be people coming out of the woodwork telling you what a moron you are and using all sorts of swear words and everything. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Now, how do you perpetuate? How do you, I'll drop off the accent for just a second. How do you perpetuate that hatred, that hatred and that vitriol? Well, then you take another bike that's different than the first one. Like, so say first you weigh this bike and you say how much it weighs on this exact same scale. Then you take this bike or any other bike. It could be a Beta, it could be a Sherco, it could be a Yamaha, it could be a KTM. I've weighed a lot of these different bikes now. You take another bike, you do the exact same thing. Maybe you fill it full of fuel because that's what I do with all of my bikes. I fill them full of fuel. Why do I fill my bikes full of fuel when I weigh them? Uh, because I ride them full of fuel. I don't remember ever riding a dirt bike when it had no fuel in it. So I fill them full of fuel so I can see what they actually weigh when you ride them. That's how I do it. So anyway, you take that second bike, you do the exact same thing. It's in stock form, doesn't have a bunch of extra parts on it. You fill it full of fuel, you weigh that bike. Oh my goodness. People are going to flip. They're gonna be so pissed at you. And so that, that, that's gonna be awesome. This is how you piss dirt bikers off by the thousands. Uh, because invariably, this, the, the, amount, the, the amount that it says on this commercial shipping scale is going to differ from the manufacturer's website. And since we know that the manufacturer's website is the Bible to be trusted at all, at all costs. Dude, the websites of these dirt bike manufacturers are laughable. You know, it's like, we're gonna trust what they say about their bike weights on their websites when half the time, even with like KTM, they, their, their website is riddled, riddled with misinformation. KTM's site sucks. The other dirt bike manufacturers out there, I haven't seen one that has a good website that doesn't look like it was created in 1997. Um, and they don't update the information. The, the information on still on KTM's website about the 2017 dirt bikes is that it's the same motor as 2016. It, it, it received like minor graphics improvements. And that is such BS. The entire bike was new. The motor was brand new. And yet we're going to trust what they say about their weights? No. I'm not gonna trust that. So I put every bike that I've been bringing through here in the last several months on the same commercial shipping scale, weighed in the same way, and oh my goodness, it pisses people off every time. And I just have to laugh. I'm like, dude, so what? You think your bike is lighter? The, the scale says this bike is heavier than that bike, and of course, weight is not everything. Which is why I don't make a huge deal out of it. I just wanna make the content and be like, oh, this bike is heavier, that bike is lighter, and man, pisses people off <laughs> and people can't people I, I think it's like don't you talk about my mama like that they think they think like if you weigh a dirt bike it's almost like telling the weight of their mom or their wife and they're like don't you talk about my mama that way don't you talk about my dirt bike that way my dirt bike is skinny it's a skinny dirt bike well your dirt bike is kind of skinny and it's kind of got some fat rolls and that's, that's what you do. So you want to piss people off, piss dirt bikers off, 
tell them how much their bike really weighs using the same method every time to compare one bike to the next, to the next, to the next, and oh my goodness. You'll have people on Twitter, you'll have people on Facebook, you'll have people on Instagram, you'll have people everywhere on YouTube, on social media, just railing on you and saying what a moron you are and why do you weigh your bikes that way? You should weigh them with no fuel, you should weigh them with fuel, you should weigh them with half fuel, you should do this, you should do that, you should stand on your head, and I'm like, dudes, chill out. That's how much the bikes weigh when they are full of fuel because that's how we ride them with gas in them. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site, and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month, and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.